Hello and welcome back to the Ramsey Cole Racing YouTube page. Today I'm going to be talking about the most common occurrences in you know my my everyday life. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the only one that does this. When I when I see a gay guy on uh, Facebook or something like that, and I know that he's gay, I end up reading their status in a gay voice. Going to see my friends at the mall. And, you know, sometimes I'll actually over exaggerate the the gayness of the voice. Usually they're not that gay, but I make it to where it seems like they are. Like, instead of what I just did. Gonna go see my friends at the mall, and we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna do all this sort of stuff, and it's just gonna be amazing. We're done with the, the gayness. Everybody, I know you, uh, friends at school, have been asking to, to hear that gay voice. I did it on my last channel, and everybody liked that video for some reason. Uh, so everybody's gonna be looking forward to that, and I always hate doing it, but whatever. You know when you you grab a pen and you end up just taking it completely apart when you're really bored. You're sitting in class, you're not doing anything. You just just grab a pen and start to take it apart. And for some reason, I always end up losing the spring, and I get so mad because I lose the spring, and I'm like, oh, it irritates me so much. And and people are looking around like, what are you doing? And the teacher end up, ends up getting mad at me because I lost my spring and then I, I do, end up not doing my work for a little while because my, I've lost my spring. And, but eventually I end up finding the spring and, you know, I start to put it back together and uh, everything's fine. You know, I'm going to do this real quick. Oh, see? I lost the spring. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Found it. Now, if the class is doing absolutely nothing, you end up actually taking these pens apart, and um, you'll act. You'll end up having like a, a race to it. And in that situation, I always lose the spring because I, I'm sitting there. When you're bored, you also start cracking your fingers. Eventually, you'll end up like finding like new different ways to crack your fingers. Like I first started out just doing this, and then I found out you can do this too. And then I realized, hey, you can crack your fingers this way. And then after that, I realized you can do this: twist your fingers, and then you can put pressure on both sides of the joint and you'll end up cracking your fingers that way too. It eventually comes up like really addicting so anybody that is just starting that please stop now because you know that it sucks to do that. You're just sitting there in class and all of a sudden you just see someone doing this. You're like okay they're on crack. Here's another thing that I, I do often. You know I wake up in the morning and I'm really excited to Pour my bowl of cereal because that's my favorite. That's my favorite thing to get up in the morning and do is pour my bowl of cereal. And I, I get up and I'm ready. I have my Cheerios in my hand and they're ready to cheer me up. Pour it in the bowl. Everything's fine. Everything's working out good. Put the cereal back in the cabinet. Set the bowl down. At this point, you're like you're really happy. You're excited. You're about to eat it. And you go to the fridge. Open the fridge, and a tragedy happens. There is no milk. No milk at all. And please, if you're in this situation, don't think that half and half is going to help you. Because that doesn't. That always makes it worse. But I actually tried that one time, and that made my morning the worst morning. And I ended up just just not doing my work at all that wor that day. I just ended up sleeping the entire day because I was so upset that I did not have my Cheerios. But anyway, that's all I have for today, so I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I should be coming out with some more go-kart videos pretty soon, so uh, yeah, that's it. See ya.